In this video, I will explain prospect theory. Prospect theory tells us about how people make choices between gambles with monetary outcomes and specified probabilities. This theory is developed by Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky in 1979. This theory is the foundation of behavioral finance. In standard finance, we usually apply expected utility theory. It tells us about how decisions should be made, meaning that decisions should be based on logic, decisions should be correct mathematically, and this theory is developed by John and Oscar in 1944. I will explain now the key aspects of prospect theory. First one is that people sometimes behave like risk version and sometimes they behave like a risk seeker. It depends upon the nature of the prospect. If there is a gain, people behave like risk version. And if there is a loss prospect, people behave like a risk seeker. So, prospect theory tells us about how people behave differently when the nature of prospect changes. Let me give you an example. If you ask to choose between $240 for sure and there is a 25% probability of getting $1,000, people choose $240 for sure. This is consistent with risk aversion because people prefer certainty over uncertainty. Now you think other way around. If I ask you to choose between $750 loss for sure and there is a 75% probability of losing $1,000, people want to play. This is consistent with risk seeking because in loss perspective, people want to take risk. So, expected utility theory cannot incorporate changes in risk attitude. However, Prospect theory allows for changes in risk attitude depending on the nature of the prospect. If the prospect is late to gain, people are risk averse. And if the prospect is later to loss, people are risk seeker. Now I explain second key aspect of prospect theory. It says people's valuation of prospect depend on gains and losses relative to a reference point. How can you understand this? I'll give you an example. Suppose you lost $100 at the horse track today. Or now you have a next or race. Or just my ratio is 10-1. If your horse wins, you will get $100. Or if your horse wins, you will lose $10. अब यहां पे आपके पास है कि इफ यू थिंक कि आपका पहले कोई भी लॉस नहीं है दिस इज योर रेफरेंस पॉइंट अगर आप इसको बनाते हैं तो हो सकता है यू विल नॉट टेक रिस्क आपका बिहेवियर जो है वो लॉस वर्जन एंड इफ यू थिंक कि भी आप 100 डॉलर हार चुके हैं और अगर आप दोबारा ये रिस्क लेते हैं तो उससे प्रोबेबिलिटी है कि आप विन करेंगे और आपको 100 डॉलर जो है वो मिल जाएंगे तो इस सिनेरियो में आपका बिहेवियर जो है वो रिस्क सीकर होगा तो रेफरेंस पॉइंट इज इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि रेफरेंस पॉइंट चेंज होता है तो उससे आपका बिहेवियर चेंज भी होता है इन प्रोस्पेक्ट थ्योरी देयरफॉर वैल्यू इज मेजर ओवर गेंस एंड लॉसेस रिलेटिव टू ए रेफरेंस पॉइंट हाउएवर in expected utility theory, utility is measured as a function of absolute wealth. Third key aspect of prospect theory is that people are loss averse because it hurts you more than gain. Let's say that you have a hundred dollar loss and a hundred dollar gain. So you will see that the loss magnitude is वो गेन की मैग्नीट्यूड से ज्यादा होगी 
लॉस आपको ज्यादा हर्ट करेगा इफ यू सी द ग्राफ वैल्यू फंक्शन इज मोर स्टीपर ओवर लॉसेस देन गेन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल